What's up everyone, my name is David Arroyo and in this video we're going to be talking about combining Blender with Procreate to create concept art once again. So this time we're going to be looking at a Blender file that was created by one of my concept art students from the course that I uh, do uh, called Laura Casir and we take her uh, Blender file and we add shading to it uh, with tune shaders that were developed by this man right here awesome dude you should definitely check uh his youtube channel um i will add all the links in the descriptions below so definitely have a look at the end of this video and then of course we're going to go into procreate once the shaders have been added and the lighting and stuff and then we're going to paint over it you know to make it really give that final touch plus Laura was very kind to do the final line art, uh, so she also went into Procreate and did the final lines uh, that gives it that extra push and brings it to the next level. You'll see what I mean. So uh, there we go. Let's dive right in and then uh, see what we can uh, learn from this one. So here we're starting off with the final result first so that you can get an idea of where we're going towards. Uh, it all started off obviously with Laura's 3D model, uh, really cool in Blender. I'm very happy uh, with the result. As you can see, there's an interior and she also has a really cool exterior. So let's start diving into Blender first to get a look into how that was done. Okay, so here we are inside Blender so that you can have a very quick look at the file itself that was uh, made and modeled by Laura. Uh, she did a great job, a lot of simple details, you know, just about enough what you need for an animation TV series, for example, or if you were to use it in a comic book. Very cool, lots of like fun little details. Um, and basically also maybe fun to look at i'm gonna go inside for this uh the shaders themselves okay are the tune based shaders by paul the one that i mentioned earlier uh definitely definitely worth it uh an update is coming soon uh, where you will be updating them to version 4. Uh, they're definitely fun, and I strongly recommend you have a look. So, as usual, like I said, the link is in the description below. Also to Paul's YouTube channel that is full of goodies, full of great tutorials on how to use the shaders, uh, grease pencil tutorials, all that type of stuff. So definitely check that out as well. And, um, yeah, getting back to the file. So, yeah, I was just surprised because, you see, Lauda has never used Blender uh before this course okay so she just literally completed the course the concept art course that i give is only a one-year course and yeah you know you don't really you're not constantly using 3d actually you just use 3d from time to time uh when you need it uh to set up a particular um like you know to set up a scene like this for example but aside from that you know 3d is not really um you know the forefront of the course at all we do other things we we focus a lot on the illustration side on the drawing on the concept art itself photo bashing all these things so it's quite nice to you know see a result uh that looks quite nice like this uh, especially it's not a 3d course it's a concept art course but nowadays i mean this is the proof uh, you know 3d is so unbelievably useful uh within concept art okay it, it is it is definitely a used tool um you know does that mean you can't live without it yeah of course you can i mean you can perfectly do all this stuff without um 3d but it sure as hell helps a lot so there you go that was just uh very quickly the blender file that i wanted to show you guys let's uh move back into the drawing aspect so once Laura got her uh, 3D aspect done, she rendered this image out, which then she imported into Procreate and started uh, doing the line art manually. So uh, she did have a freestyle export, but she wanted to just add more detail that was not in the 3D render uh, before or the 3D uh, actual file. So she added additional details. Uh, and then at the same time, I started playing a bit around with colors. Okay, so uh, I went into uh, Paul's shaders. I applied them to the file because I thought it would give that really cool anime look uh, or cartoon type of look that we were going for. 
uh, and then different lighting tests, uh, as you can see right here. Uh, and then from there on, you know, I sent them back to Laura and said, okay, so what do you think about this? You know, in, in which direction should we go? Again, the part that I did was not for the course, obviously. She did her part um, for her course. By the way, these are in cycles, these last ones, these last two. And yeah, obviously in cycles, the quality is even better. Uh, so just interesting to know. Um, but yeah, so Laura did her part for the course. But then afterwards, I said, look, after the course, I'll show you what you can continue doing uh, if you were to spend a little bit more time with it. Uh, so it was just to show that concept art, uh, you can really push, like, you know, push as far as you can, if you just uh, go past the 3D stage, you know, a lot of the students that I have, um, once they get introduced to Blender, then they just stick to Blender and they think, okay, well, wow, I'll just make the renders in Blender and I'll, you know, if I get a good render and I've got a good file, then that's it, that I don't need to do anything in, uh, else anymore. But my point is that, um, well, by, w w with concept art, the whole point is to, you know, push it a bit further, you know, with your extra um, illustrative skills, your, you know, uh, if you're going to use photo bashing, you use photo bashing or whatever it is. Uh, but you can use that afterwards to really push the envelope, like you can see here, you know, uh, I could not have taken this render uh, from uh, Blender, not like that either ways, uh, or it, it would have taken me quite a while to set that up. Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so here we're looking at the file within Procreate. And I think this makes much more sense to have a look at it like this because here you can see the layers and the setup of the file. Right, so when we look at this, uh, I'm just going to start removing all the stuff that we don't need right now. Uh, background and maybe, yeah, maybe start with the render. So the render, this is the render that came out of Pro, um, out of Blender. Okay, so out of Blender, this is what was uh, rendered in the Cycles engine. Um, once that was done, uh, Laura got to draw over it in Procreate uh, on her iPad, and then sent me this file, the line art that you see here. So all these fine little details that you can see here, it's really filled with little details everywhere. Uh, little things that like, for example, all the cables, they were not originally there. Um, it really reminds me of like typically what you would see in a uh, comic book, right? And so uh, that was drawn over this. And if you pay attention, I mean, you, you, she modified a few things like added uh, additional details, um, you know, for example, here with the pillows as well. You can very clearly see that, you know, she modified it to what she thought was best and looked best. Okay, so you have the laptop and, and stuff like that. So, with that said, uh, once that was done, I had to make adjustments, okay, because obviously I couldn't leave it like this. So my first step was to, where is it, the modifications. So if I turn them on and off, you will see colors, they keep coming on and coming off. Uh, and you'll see the modifications. So for example, here you'll see perfectly well. Um, these modifications is just an additional layer uh, if I were to turn this off, that's all it is. It's literally just a very simple layer with additional um, details that, you know, were not there originally. Okay, so that's the modification layer. If I were to just show it like this, that's what you see. Um, it's the line art of, from uh, Laura that uh, gets rid of that, basically, and gives it that final touch. Um, in terms of detail at least. Then once that was done, um, I added some of the sh uh, shadows. So you got a shadow layer. I mean, this was done in between, so it was not like one after the other, but uh, as you see in the video previously, uh, you got some additional lighting here and there. Uh, then you've got the screen images, okay, which are these ones right here, All right? So I had to create a whole bunch of individual like insert images and stuff like that and then modify them to give it at least that feeling of getting things finished. Uh, written text is this stuff right here. Um, then the color overlay was just a quick, you know, I don't know if it's very like clear in um, on YouTube, but basically it's just a quick layer that provides just a different, like a, more of a unified color scheme, if you will. And then the thing that was important for me was this over like stronger sunlight type of thing, this feeling of like really 
strong lighting and it gets reinforced a lot with this layer okay well, because here i add additional shadows and stuff like that so if i were to go here you can see so basically i'm faking the light here okay i've the lighting here is not the same as in the rendering uh because i just wanted to go for this type of mood and feel plus we still don't have the background which is that one um that one was literally just painted in somewhere in the middle um if i were to turn all of this off then we end up just with the background. Uh, let's just start. It's extremely simple. I mean, it, it's, you know, I j only drew what I needed to draw uh, in order to get the, um, yeah, the desired effect. Uh, and that's it. That's the final, you know, final setup. This is how, you know, how it ended up looking. Uh, it took me a little bit over three hours, three hours and a few minutes. Um, and that was it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you liked Laura's work. Uh, I hope you like uh, Paul's shaders because they are hella good and he is going to be releasing a update to his shaders, which he regularly does. So definitely stay up to date with that. And uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Hopefully it inspired you to do something of your own. And uh, there you have it. As usual, if you like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.